Hey guys, welcome to Book Invasion. My name is Scott. Thanks for riding along with me on my reading vlogs. It's Friday, so what's every do everyone doing for their hashtag Friday Reads, hey? I just started the Martian Chronicles audiobook to go along with my old school um, book club edition that I found at the thrift store a long time ago. I think that artwork is awesome. I'm trying to hold it so you guys can see it. Um, yeah, I've never read old school sci-fi. I haven't read a lot of that, so I stuttered. I would dive in. The uh, Sword and Laser podcast, if you're not familiar. For any SFF fans, you should check it out. Swordandlaser.com. They have a podcast. Uh, Tom and Veronica, they're pretty awesome. They've done it for a long time. So this is their May uh, monthly book pick. And I thought I would hop on and give it a shot, because it's fairly short. I think I can knock it out over the weekend. Usually I don't have a lot of reading time over the weekend uh, because I'm dealing with my children and family. So, but if I uh, have some time, I'll throw on the audio at nights when the kids are asleep. And then I'll follow along on my physical copy just because it's kind of fun to, you know, put your bookmark in the pages and see where you're at. So that's cool. So I also wanted to talk to you guys about why I review, why I do book reviews. Well, you know, we all know the book reviews don't get a lot of views on YouTube, yada, yada, yada. But last week when I posted my um, Black Star Renegades review, I had gotten a really cool shout out from the author who was just so excited to see some of the graphics I had done with like the Star Wars intro and the Star Wars text crawl of the plot. And then, you know, he, he he shared it and shouted out me and said, you know, this is awesome. You should go watch this video 15 times. Um, and I mean, it was a good video, but it wasn't a, an incredibly glowing book review. I mean, I, I told people to say, hey, you know, you should <laughs> lower, not lower, but you should go into the book expecting like an homage to Star Wars, this and that. I mean, I wasn't ranting and raving about how great the book was. I just said, you know, if you like a fun space romp, like Star Wars Guardians of the Galaxy, check out Black Star Renegades. Here's some info on it. And I mean, just, just getting the feedback directly from the author who is so excited to see just that little thing on it, you know, that that's, that's kind of what makes me do what I do. I mean, the reviews that I post are, are for the audience or for the readers. But I mean, it's maybe like a 70-30 split. Like 30% I do it for the readers. 70% I do it more for like the authors to let them know that, you know, people are out there, people are reading their books, people are talking about it. I mean, that's, that's a good boost for the confidence of the authors to make them keep doing what they do. Even if it's an indie book, even if it's a book that you know not many people have heard of which which I love doing because those people are the ones who are most receptive to that kind of feedback you know you grab a book off the backlist and you know nobody really knows what it is you're then you throw up a video of it and say you, you know talk about it that's gonna spark you know the author's interest a lot more you're gonna get more interaction from those kind of people um, you know I, I asked him uh, the author of Black Star Renegades, Michael Marisi, I was like, yeah, hey, you know, he asked me if I had book two in the series, and I was like, no, I haven't gotten it yet. He's like, well, hell, I'll send it to you. It's the least I can do. And so he's going to send me uh, We Are Maya, book two in the series, which is awesome. But, um, but you get that type of interaction from those authors who are just so willing to, to talk to you. You know, I asked him if he wanted to do an interview sometime. He said, sure. Uh, and, you know, when I... Before I started YouTube and did my, my book stuff, I had run a music blog for, like, nine years or something like that. And that that was the same thing. I think I take a lot of that over to here is where you get a band that not many people know of. You may have come across it from a thing like, you know, Spotify is like, you listen to X band, so you might like this band. And you dig down that rabbit hole, and then you find some some band who's fairly popular you know they have a record or two out but they haven't gained a big following <coughs> so then I would hop on that I would do an album review I would email the band and say hey you want to do an interview 
I mean, they loved it, and, and I loved it too. I mean, I like to be the advocate for those type of for those type of things because getting a boost of confidence when you're starting out or when you're smaller, you know, just makes you want to do that stuff so much more. And like putting it on on my blog and putting it on YouTube, just broadcast that to such a wider audience. And I mean, you know, I don't do it for my own self-esteem and my own popularity. I, I, I do it to, you know, when you get a good book or get a good band, you hold that close to you. You, you know, you, you're like, you know, this is great, this is mine. And it's like, you made a new best friend. And so you want to go and say, introduce your new your new best friend to your other friends and say, hey, go, I made a new friend named Josh, Joe Schmo. He's pretty awesome. We have a lot of cool interests and he, ha he can tell good stories or he has good music. You guys should check him out too. And then you start to start to make a good, a good community, a good friend circle of friends around that. And I mean, that's what I, that's why I do what I do is essentially to take the things that I find interesting, that I like, I, I kind of advocate for the creators and say, you know, Hey guys, I like your stuff. Somebody's listening. Somebody is reading this. Like you can put out uh, contents and you'll get trickle trickle in reviews from Amazon and Goodreads and this and that. But to like see somebody's face on a video talking about it, holding it up and seeing kind of their their passion and, and understanding the inflections in their voice when they talk about what they talk about, I think holds a lot more value than reading text on a screen of like a three or four star Amazon review. So, I mean, that, that's just a background of what I, why I do what I do. You know, I like book reviews, not, I don't do it to get the views. I don't do it for this and that. I do it to kind of uh, and advocate for the content that I enjoy and to advocate for the creators of that content and, you know, let them know that, hey, even though you're not on the bestsellers list, you have, I'm kind of pushing for people to to read this stuff and that's kind of I like to be that kind of guy you know I, I like to be not their agent but like their cheerleader essentially when they may not have that big of an audience and I think they appreciate that a lot a lot more than just uh, putting up reviews and, and why not so I mean it some of them understand that it takes time and, and things to make these videos and they're appreciative of, of that. But it allows you to make those connections. And then who knows when when that guy, whoever you make the connection with, if they break through and get huge and make a bestseller and whatnot, then you have, you can pull the hipster card and, and be like, you know, I, I knew that guy before he was cool. I did a, an interview with him back in five years ago when nobody was paying attention to their sophomore book or something like that and then you can reach out to them and be like hey dude you got you got the cred so anyway that's just a little blur a little rant about what my motivations are why I do what I do and why I think it's important thanks for riding with me guys enjoy your Friday enjoy your weekend see ya bye bye Okay.